do you know that methanol can replace both petrol and diesel in transportation and LPG wood, kerosene and cooking fuel? Methanol Institute, a trade association promoting the methanol sector across the globe, claims that vehicles with onboard methanol reformation incur lower capex and opex for longer range, shorter refill time and lower emissions. Methanol Institute is working with Niti Aayog to push the methanol economy program that is aimed at reducing India's oil import bill, greenhouse gas emissions and converting coal reserves, municipal solid waste into methanol. Today, we are joined by Prakriti Shetty, Chief India Representative, Methanol Institute to talk about the advantages of methanol and how methanol can play a crucial role towards achieving India's energy security. Welcome, Prakriti. Thank you so much uh, for giving us the opportunity to speak with Mojapur Industry in speaking about methanol and its applications. So to start with, Prakriti, we'd like to understand from you, how do you see the potential of methanol as a clean fuel? I would say uh, it is moving from a, traditionally being used as a chemical to a, now an energy fuel feedstock. So uh, methanol is now being utilized as, you know, a transport or marine, um, I would say, uh, application, as well as fuel cells um, and even for, uh, you know, shipping industry as well. So there are different applications uh, for methanol, uh, apart from being utilized as a chemical commodity. Um, it is also being looked at how different feedstocks could be used to produce renewable methanol, which is a greener and alternative way of producing methanol. Now with Niti Aayog, initially when uh, the uh, methanol economy was launched with Niti Aayog, uh, they looked at different aspects of utilizing methanol. Uh, one of which was, of course, you know, working with ARAI, Automotive Research Association of India, to sort of look at M15, which is a blend of methanol of uh, 15% with gasoline, uh, 85% uh, in the gasoline engine uh, vehicles. So this was being tried uh, back in 2018. And uh, now we have the standards which are set uh, by the government. And uh, initially, I think even last uh, year, the, there was a trial that was being done for two wheelers as well. So we have the two wheelers and the four wheelers which are being trialed uh, for M15 blend. And it, it has been successfully working out. And hopefully I, we, we think that by the mid of this year, we will have some you know, satisfactory results to share with you. So, Prakriti, when you talk about as India is looking for uh, energy security, you know, how, how do you uh, say that you know, methanol can play a critical role in that particular direction? Especially for India was to sort of ensure uh, you know, energy security so as to reduce the import bill. Uh, this was the prime reason of setting up a methanol economy fund, uh, also initially initiated by Niti Aayog. And uh, the reason for this is you know, sort of look at how we could utilize methanol as an alternative fuel. As you know, with the current situation, uh, there has been a pressure on, uh, you know, uh, energy uh, prices and they have been skyrocketing. So, you know, how do we manage that? Uh, because most of our petrol and diesel are imported and the prices that you see today is something which is not, uh, you know, which will, which will be a burden on the consumer. Uh, so it is, it, is, it is a fuel that is being utilized around the world. Uh, it is not something new. It is being handled safely. Uh, and uh, th there, we have not seen any such uh, incidents. Uh, and we do make sure, even in our projects and even with our stakeholders, that you know we we sort of uh, have that kind of training on how to handle methanol safely and store that. So, in terms of storage and infrastructure, it is um, quite quite relatively easier. Uh, second, I would say it is uh, as compared to you know petrol and diesel, it is quite cheaper. Uh, so it, it, it is both a cost effective alternative and uh, I would say it is a green alternative now when you produce it with renewable feedstocks as well. It does incur, you know, uh, uh, reducing uh, lower emissions. I would say it is a transition to a low carbon economy. Uh, when it is produced through renewable feedstocks such as, you know, biomass or even waste, uh, solid municipal waste. Uh, or even through captured carbon dioxide and through renewable electricity like hydrogen, uh, it is, uh, you know, it, it does offer uh, around, you know, 60 to 75% of carbon reductions. Um, so it is also an alternative green, uh, I would say, um, option uh, to look for the country. And ensuring energy security is one of the ways to look at alternative fuels like methanol. It, 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 it seems to be the most immediate, 
I would say solution at the moment. Uh, I do understand we, we are looking at different alternative energy fuel options uh, across India because that's the need of the hour for a country. Um, but definitely it seems to be the most immediate solution uh, going ahead uh, in terms of you know, the advantages that I've mentioned. Thank you. Uh, Prakita, one last question I would uh, like to understand from you. Uh, recently, Road Transport and Highways Minister Mr. Nitin Gadkari announced that top automobile companies in India will start manufacturing vehicles of flexible fuel variants within six months. So that is the timeline he said, and he is man of words. How will it make an immediate impact on this particular thing, like methanol powered vehicles? Uh, yeah, in terms of, uh, you know, flex fuel vehicles, definitely it's a very positive move. Uh, and uh, we feel that uh, this could be something be the future for the country as well. Uh, we do hope that, you know, the, the uh, Niti Aayog has sort of laid, uh, and even the government, of course, the ministry has laid the foundation for sort of supporting M15, uh, you know, uh, vehicles on road, because we have already uh, sort of trialed it and we have the standards. So it's going to be very easy for us to sort of transition um, from M15. But uh, definitely flex fuel engines would be uh, a plus plus point for us as well. And it would increase the demand that we are looking at. Uh, but I think it is a very positive move for the methanol industry as well, uh, where we feel that, you know, uh, methanol could be included as part of the alternative fuel and energy basket that the country is looking at. And flex fuel vehicles, uh, would definitely be a positive move uh, for the methanol industry. So for, thank you so much, Prakriti, for joining us today and thank talking you. about how methanol can play a crucial role towards achieving energy security and actions can be taken at policy level to expedite the adoption of methanol in India. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much. For more updates, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon.